Let's address property owners who may have graffiti or, or artwork that they want to keep. What we're trying to do with this ordinance is address the state laws that have been updated. And it says that if we ask an owner to remove graffiti, that we have to make an offer to do that ourselves. So the city would pay for it. In many cases, owners, as we've approached them, have said, we'll, we'll help remove the graffiti or we'll remove it ourselves. And so the city is just there to say, hey, this is important. We have an emphasis to, as we're calling it, take back the wall. And a lot of voluntary efforts have been made by citizens that have had graffiti on their wall and know we're serious about getting it off now. And the other part of the ordinance is, of course, to say to people that are underage that they can't possess materials that indicate they're doing graffiti. There's plenty of exceptions for people that are involved in a project for high school or a church project or whatever if, they're, if they have that material or if they're with their parents. But for somebody wandering down the street with a can of, uh, of paint in their hand or a marks a lot and there's graffiti present, uh, we intend to pursue those people. It's a crime, it's not a prank. And it's destroying property and causing thousands of dollars on individual properties damage. So we intend to pursue that and that's what we're saying by this ordinance.